The following video is approximately five minutes long and includes audio description for people who are blind or have low vision. Title card. This presentation was prepared under federal financial assistance provided by FEMA's grant programs director at U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Points of view or opinions expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official position of policies of FEMA's grant programs directorate of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Title card. Cal OES logo. Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Host in wheelchair. Hi, I'm Richard DeVelder. Chief of the Office of Access and Functional Needs at the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. I'm speaking to you today from the California Center. State Operations Center. The typical response during Classroom an earthquake, children climbing under drop tables. cover and hold on, may not be the right choice for those of us who have disabilities or are older adults with other functional needs. Office during earthquake. Earthquakes strike suddenly, without warning, and they can occur at any time of the year day or night. Map of US Nearly seismic every zones. state and territory in the United States Seismograph. is at moderate to very high risk of earthquakes. Post and office. In the event of a major earthquake, the damage they can inflict could include power outages down power lines. and down power lines, Building on fire. gas leaks, fires, Building rubble. broken windows, and falling objects which are dangerous for everyone man in and can be a greater threat to people with disabilities and older adults. Elderly man on news. We must plan Ambulance. for our response as if no one is coming to rescue us, Police car. because they are not. It is unrealistic to believe that there are enough resources Police car. for everyone to receive assistance. Post and office. Those of us who have disabilities or are older adults need to adapt earthquake preparation and response as the decisions we make could save our lives. The following simulation is for individuals who have classroom of people with intellectual disabilities. Are you going to the party? Can't go. Earthquake strikes. Earthquake! Everyone covers their heads. Some get on the floor under chairs. I don't know what to do. What do you do? Stay away from windows! Is it over? I think it's over now. Woman looks up from under a chair. Worker runs in room. Is everyone all right? Host talking to class. What did you think about the earthquake simulation? It got down on the floor. And we cover our heads. Woman holding I talking can get computer. out of my wheelchair. Yes, I understand. In your case, you couldn't drop cover and hold on, but you did the right thing. You just needed to try to stay in your chair and cover your head and neck. You did a great job. Very good. Post in office. We have just seen an example of how a person with a disability or older adult should respond during an earthquake. Have you thought about this scenario and made preparations for what you would do? Let's always remember that we are not helpless and we can take control of our plan and our response. Ambulance. Act as if no one is coming to rescue you. You are in charge. A simple buddy system is not enough. Lady helping man in wheelchair. We need to build a support team, which include neighbors, men helping senior lady off friends, floor. and family. Have practice sessions with them to ensure that they can help you. Know what you need and be able to quickly provide instructions to others on how to assist you. Plan for all disasters. Think about what needs you would have after a disaster. Man drags himself on would you need to evacuate or shelter in place? Youth texting on what phone. if technology fails? What if the power goes out and you no longer have cell service? Cell phone, no service. Then what? Two girls under table. If you have a family member Mom runs with in specific room emergency preparedness needs, think about all the different scenarios that could affect them. Be realistic. Fireman and the government office. does not have enough resources and responders to help everyone. Child in wheelchair loading if you van. need to evacuate, how can you leave the area? Man in wheelchair what if you upstairs. cannot independently get downstairs? Do you have family, neighbors, or friends to assist you? Practice with earthquake drills. To know it is to do it. Being ready to evacuate or shelter in place is the key to staying safe in an emergency. emergency items. In your plan, don't forget to build an emergency kit with essential items you need to keep with you. Backpack being put this in includes closet. medications, Pill bottles. any consumable medical supplies, a whistle, whistle, and something very important, Thumb drive. a USB drive that includes important documents like your most recent medications, driver's license. copy of your driver's license or ID, emergency contacts. Post and I really hope you take this to heart. This is about you saving your own life. Cal OES logo and web address, www.caloes.ca.gov. End of video.